This video contains minor spoilers for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If you're worried about that kind of thing, you can check out my video on Daddy Dwarf and come back if you're thirsty for more saucy Zelda topics. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is actually a very serious Zelda theory. It ties into the deep lore of The Legend of Zelda, the history of Hyrule. It talks about bloodlines and lineages, which is a very family-friendly way of saying it's about the history of just how freaky those fish got in The Legend of Zelda. Because Zoras, um, yeah, they like to get around. Last warning for those who don't want spoilers, because I'm going to be talking about both the Zoras and their descendants, the Rito. That's right, players who joined the Zelda fandom during Breath of the Wild might not know this, but the Rito only appeared in a single game prior to the Breath of the Wild. That, of course, was Zelda The Wind Waker, my favourite Zelda game, and in that game, the Zoras are absent. And it's during the events of the main story that we learn that the Zoras evolved from the Rito. Except, is that something we learn? It's not explicitly stated in the game, but it is implied through the character of Laruto, an ancient sage of the Earth, sharing a blood connection with the Rito girl, Medley. In this game, the Rito are a little different to how they appear in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. They acquire their power of flight by praying to the Sky Spirit of Alu, who seems to bestow this power to them. And their wings do look a lot like the Zora's arm fins. Finally, the Kokiri from Ocarina of Time are also absent in the Wind Waker and have evolved very clearly into a different form, the Koroks, the children of the Great Deku Tree. So then it's a pretty safe assumption that the Zora who have disappeared from the world of Hyrule evolved in Wind Waker into the Rito to escape the Great Flood. Except I don't think this is the case, and I think actually Tears of the Kingdom not only disproves this, but maybe even retcons it entirely. Because in Tears of the Kingdom, we see memories of the time of ancient Hyrule, a time just after the kingdom's founding. This time is possibly just after Skyward Sword, though I think probably just before. No matter the case, it's certainly before Wind Waker. The Ritos existed before Zelda the Wind Waker, before the Zora could evolve into them. No matter how you use the Master Sword or slice up the timeline of the canon, a Rito champion existed alongside the Zora, since the beginning of Hyrule. But then, is this a retcon, and what's this got to do with Laruto being Medley's ancestor? There's something fishy going on here. Eh? Eh? <laughs> But I think the answer is pretty simple. The Ruto is Medley's ancestor. They do share a blood connection. That much is stated as fact in the game. It's just not the case that the whole Zora race evolved into the Rito race, but rather that this specific Rito shares a blood connection with a fish from the times of the ancient past. See, when people think of evolution, you likely think of like Pokemon evolving from one stage, one form into another. But if you've seen my Tree of Evolution series over on my Pokemon channel, then you'll know that it's not quite like that. It's a process that happens very slowly over hundreds of thousands of years, with species who look kind of similar slowly diverging from one another. All of them sharing common ancestry a long time back. Large changes happening quickly, that's not evolution, that's magic. Which makes sense for the forest spirits, the Kokiri becoming the Koroks, but for the Rito, the answer is just simple. Once upon a time, a Rito daddy and a Zora mummy loved each other very much, or at least found each other to be a good laugh for a weekend. Anyway, what that means is that Laruto's child was half Zora and half Rito. Half fish, half bird, is that a new species? But no, because the Rito and Zora aren't different species. Zelda doesn't use the term species to describe the various well, races that appear across its franchise. Canonically, it uses that word, races, the Goron race, the Rito race, the Zora race, as if they're all part of some larger group. The various denizens of Hyrule, these races all evolved likely from a common ancestor a long time ago. Despite their various forms and very pleasant shapes, there's no taboo here. The Grudo come into Hyrule to meet men who they call Vo to reproduce. Ross is a character in A Link Between Worlds who while is officially Hyrulean, looks very Goron-like and wears the emblem of the Goron people on his belt. Yeah, this guy's dad is a Goron. And the Zoras aren't one to judge. Throughout the series, they take so many different forms, including the River Zora and the Zola, and King Zoras typically look, but well, they've definitely got something else going on. Additionally, in Ocarina of Time, Ruto is just totally happy to accept and wants to have Link as her fiancé, and she understands the implications well into adulthood, where she continues to refer to him as so. And Mifa and Link, of course, in Breath of the Wild, share a romance. Mom, I got a new partner, and, it, and it's not a Zora. It, it's it's a, it's a Hylian. They're a Hylian. That's okay, honey. Zora, Rito, Hylian. I don't care as long as it's not one of those filthy river Zora. The Rito people never evolved from the Zoras. The Rito people have existed since the beginning of Hyrule. That's just something that we implied as children when playing Wind Waker for the first time because we maybe didn't understand the implications of a fish person and a bird person 
getting it on. Now, I know some of you are skeptically minded, and like me, some of you are just degenerates, and you're thinking about the anatomy of all this and how this can possibly work, but this very game, Tears of the Kingdom, confirms that it can work because you have King Raru and Queen Sonya who are of different races of Hyrule, and yet they have a child because Zelda is part of their bloodline, which means their lineage is passing on, which means the reproduction is happening absolutely fine. So get your mind out of the gutter. Yes, Medley is Naruto's descendant, but that's not a species wide occurrence. Now, I'd be remiss to not at least mention that there is a bit of text in one or two pages of the Zelda encyclopedia that does use the word evolution, suggesting that the Zora had to become the Rito after Wind Waker because of a magical sea, this great sea being illusionary. But firstly, a, an illusionary sea? It acts like water, you can swim in it, you can drown in it, it's very much a sea. In fact, in Breath of the Wild, salt rock can be found everywhere, suggesting there was once a great ocean where Hyrule now stands. But secondly, I just don't think I can count these few passages in the Zelda Encyclopedia more canon than the now appearance of an ancient Rito people from the time of Hyrule's founding in Tears of the Kingdom. But there's more in Tears of the Kingdom, the nail in the coffin, and that is the Temple of Winds. The Temple of the Rito people, it's a ship specifically an Ark that the Rito people describe as having saved the Ritos in an ancient time. An Ark that saved their race in ancient times. Now think of the most famous Ark you can think of. For what purpose did it exist? Oh yeah, to save the many species of the world during a great flood. Yes, the Great Sea from the Wind Waker. That is the purpose for which the Wind Temple exists, to help the Rito people who already existed in Hyrule, perhaps in other varying countries of the Zelda world. Remember, there are Librina and Holdrum and Termina, other places where the Rito may have been in hiding throughout the Zelda timeline, but sure enough, they've existed for the longest time. And this arc helped them during the time of the Great Flood, bringing them all the way over to Death Mountain, which became known as Dragon Roost. Now, the observant among you are going to say, but hang on, no, the Great Sea, there's no Zora there, and also what about the grappling hook, the item that Medley gives you, and she explains that the Rito people used it before the Rito people evolved wings. Well, of course, the Rito had to evolve wings at some point in history, and so presumably it's an item from that time, since before the cutscenes that we see in Tears of the Kingdom. Or alternatively, it could be the case that something's happening in the time of the Wind Waker as a result of Ganon's curse of the island. Perhaps the Ritos have simply been losing their ability of flight. Or perhaps before the flooding started, the Ritos were already losing their power of flight, and this is why the Ark, the Stormwind Ark, which is a winged flying Ark, was useful both as something that could raise them into the sky and and keep them above the sea. There are so many ways you can explain all this. Oh, and actually, the Lakazora people kind of ties into this. When Ganon returned into the world shortly before the Great Flood, it's possible that Ganon wiped out the Zora in Hyrule. Don't worry, again, there are Zora in other countries like Termina, Holdrum, and Librina. So, with a lack of other available options, Laruto, the Earth Sage, ended up shacking up with a Rito fella to pass on her bloodline to Medley. But the Rito, they've always existed, right back to the days of Hyrule's founding at the beginning of the timeline. Now I just need to work out how it works with the egg laying, because we know Zoras lay eggs and have tadpoles. Maybe that's just in Zora to Zora relations. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying Tears of the Kingdom as much as I am, and thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe for more Zelda theories. This is a new growing channel, so it really needs all the love it can get. Thank you.